Alrighty, welcome back to another video. I have to cover something really quick. Um, I've been saying a video a day, and while that is true, there is some adjustments to that. I will not be able to do weekends. So, five videos a week, Monday through Friday. Weekends are just impossible. I learned that real quick this weekend. So, from here on forth, it's a video every week during the weekdays. Weekdays, not the weekend. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. And let's jump on it. Wait a second. I forgot to include something in this entire video that is vital to your ability to run a virtual machine. You need virtualization enabled in your BIOS. Now this can almost require a video in itself because you got to boot into your BIOS settings on your PC and every computer is different. It depends on your motherboard and the way your BIOS is laid out. So my suggestion to you right now is to go to Google and type in how to boot how to enable virtual virtualization on your device. Now I have an Asus Prime motherboard so I would I would search how to enable virtualization Asus Prime motherboard. And you'll be listed with a bunch of options. And this is first and foremost, virtual, virtual machines will not work unless you have this enabled. That is mandatory. That was just a quick note because I'm stupid and I forgot to mention it throughout the video. Otherwise, enjoy and here we go. So today's video is, as you've read on the title, it's about setting up a virtual machine most common um, stuff people think of when they hear virtual machines or it's VMware. VMware is a difficult paid program so I'm going to show you something easier and just as good uh, that I like to use and how to use it and where to get your downloads to upload the operating systems appropriately and why you should use them. Virtual machines are good for many reasons and one of the reasons I use them for is kind of like a sandbox area. If I want to test an application, if I want to make sure something is uh, clean, virus free, never know. If I'm doing something fishy, just want to test something, I don't know. Um, I use a virtual machine. And good thing is on my computer, I can actually do it natively, but I'm going to show you how to do it um, from a separate program like uh, Oracle. They have VirtualBox easily the best my favorite and I'm going to show you how to do that with VirtualBox instead of VMware so that, that simplifies the process for everybody and it's pretty clean more simple setup and so on and so forth so I got the web set up right here links gonna be in the description virtualbox.org it's made by Oracle very very good and um, in case you can't tell that's the button to download it right there it's pretty uh, pretty cons pretty pretty clear so uh, <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, download that now. We're gonna get started on that. Um, it's gonna take you to this page. You're gonna wanna go, I'm assuming you're on Windows. Um, there's obviously other options here. So if you're on Windows, just obviously go to Windows and there you go. I'm just gonna download this right to my downloads folder. You place it wherever you want. And uh, yeah, so I think you guys know how to download. So we'll do that. And upon its completion, we'll install it. All right, so we got the uh, installer up. Assuming you clicked it. If you didn't, clearly click it so you can start it. <laughs> Hit next. Um, for you picky ones, you can choose where to install it. I'm gonna install it right on my C drive, which is my fastest drive. Um, you like to have? Uh, see, I have a uh, an M.2 NVMe uh, boot drive. This is what I'm gonna install it to. Then I have a secondary SSD, the Evo, and then I have a hard drive. So that's C, D, E drives. I always use C if I need something to be quick. It loads and it reads and writes the fastest. I'm now getting off track. So I'm going to ignore ignore everything I just said. It's completely irrelevant. Just hit next. And um, make sure all these are clicked. Well, these are optional, the first three. Um, but oh, but make sure um, the fourth one, register file association. Register file associations is clicked. Going to want that. Makes your life easier. Hit next. Network interfaces, it's gonna shut down your internet temporarily. Um, it, when it says temporarily, it means like a few seconds. It's very unnoticeable, so just hit yes, and then hit install. It'll go through the process, a little pop-up for administrative privileges might come up, hit yes. And um, that's it, it's done. 
and you know we'll go ahead and start it so make sure that's checked and hit finish all right so now that we have the virtual machine manager installed virtual box manager whatever you want to call it this is what it looks like but we got to go do something else first so we either minimize that get it out of the way do what you got to do we need some operating systems and microsoft makes this really really easy especially with virtualbox so i'm going to drop this link in the description this these are this is developer.microsoft.com and you can download virtual machine you know profiles uh that will boot right into virtualbox makes it so easy it literally nearly ignores the entire setup process this is like one click wonders right here and so you would just go down to select download virtual machine gives you all these options um, these are to test like Microsoft Edge and versions of things on their platform um, but they're good enough for anything so just choose one it really doesn't matter all that much either the only differences is the versions of Internet Explorer or Edge that are installed I'm just gonna go with the latest one it's got the little stable tag it's a good sign and then um, select platform so obviously we got VirtualBox. We're gonna click on VirtualBox and then download zip. This is gonna be a big file. This is 6.7 gigabytes. Now this entirely depends upon your internet speed. I can download six gigabytes in maybe five minutes. And um, for me, it's not a big deal. But if you got a slow connection, this six gigabyte download is gonna take you some time. It's, like I said, entirely dependent upon your internet speed and your connection. I get about 200 megabytes per second, so once my download gets kicking, you can already see it says four minutes left down there. Um, this, is all this, is, this is all relevant to your speeds. So, we gotta wait for this to finish, because you're gonna like the way this ends, and um, or the way this uses. So, with that said, Download that, link is in the description, and then you just choose your thing here, and then we're going to get back to it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that now you are done, saying that uh, you probably paused the video while that downloaded, or you're just watching through, either way. Here's the file. It comes in a zip file, so you just got to extract it, right click, extract, um, simple. Um, and you can see it already has like this logo. This is a, an, an ISO image, and... Um, virtual box that uh, register or file associates with blah 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 register file associates with this is what happens so when you got the download you just double click it. it's gonna open in virtual box and you'll have your little rundown here yada yada we don't really have to do much anything here just click import and it'll get it all set up might take a few minutes clearly so we'll wait for that to finish alrighty so mine just finished and here we go now on the side on the left side here you have this MS Edge Windows 10 and then this big old start button so let's click on that and it should start up the operating system and there we go we got the Windows logo um, real quick one thing when you do this when the first time I did this I wasted about 20 minutes trying to figure out how to log into the to the desktop itself on the virtual machine now this was a big pain for me and this is why I'm here there's a password to get on here so if you go back to the Microsoft website you'll see this right here the password to your VM is password word you know you see how it's spelled there real fancy devs there um, and these virtual machines expire after 90 days so um, just keep that in mind there's no saying you can't just re-download one and use it again but um, here's the password I'm gonna put it in the description just for ease of access maybe you know whatever but just note that there and here we are we got the virtual machine up and now we're logging in so it was capital P A S S W zero R D exclamation point and then hit enter and we should boot right on into the desktop um so yeah that pass that password part actually had me um stumped for a while when i did this for the first time um that but that's why i'm here you know i point out the obvious and <laughs> make things a little bit easier so uh yeah this is gonna take a little bit you know first time booting windows it's never always as smooth as you like 
uh, or as fast. So here we go. <clears throat> Here's the virtual machine, and um, just to test it out, we'll open Edge. Got the old connection there. And uh, we're in, you know, let's see. YouTube.com. Alrighty. And this is it. You got your virtual machine set up and you're good to go. So whatever you want to do from this point on with your VM is up to you. But I'm also going to show you one more thing. Have you ever wanted to test Ubuntu or anything? Really cool Linux operating system. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Alrighty, so here we're at the Ubuntu website. Uh, I'm going to include, include this link in the description as well. And um, this is going to be the first thing that pops up. It's going to be right at the top. And there's going to be this big, green, obvious download button. That means it's downloaded. So, this shouldn't nearly be anywhere as big as the Windows image we downloaded. Let's see here. Um, 1.9 gigabytes, so 2 gigabytes. It's like, you know, a third of the size. A third of the size. So, it'll take a third of the time. Uh, makes sense. Alright, so just download that. This one isn't going to be able to open in the way that the Microsoft one did. So, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And this is also universal. You'll be able to do this with any other downloading or any other operating system image that you want to use. So, we're going to wait for this to download. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. All right, so we're back here at our VM. I'm just going to X out of this one. And when you leave a virtual machine, it gives you an option. Save the machine state, send the shutdown signal, or power off the machine. I just like to power it off. It's really completely up to you. And then we're going to go back and click up here to Tools. And you'll find this new with this uh, Add button. So, um, <laughs> excuse me for that. I meant New button. And Name an operating system so we'll just name it Ubuntu and as you can see the virtual box itself picked up the words and it chose Ubuntu out of the list for us so we'll just hit next and these are all options up to you as you can see there's a little slider here for how much RAM I want to allocate to the VM and it's defaulted at one gigabyte and you can see I have up to 32 this is not that important, um, but it's up to you. The more RAM, you know, it's just like a normal computer, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, here we'll ask you to create a hard hard disk. Do not add a virtual disk. Create a virtual hard drive or use an existing hard drive disk. Just do create a virtual hard disk now. And then just leave the default setting up here. Virtual box disk image. Hit next. And then this is um, your storage. Do you want a fixed size? quote unquote hard drive or one that's dynamically alloc allocated which means it will only use the space that it needs um, so that's usually the preferred option and then it'll ask you file location and size type the name blah 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 select the size of the virtual hard disk in megabytes it's going to default to a random amount mine's defaulted at 10 gigabytes that's fine to me you can set whatever you want but make sure you allow enough space to have the operating system loaded and whatever you want to do on there and then hit create and here we are now at the Ubuntu box but before we continue we gotta load up this image so you're gonna come down to the storage section you'll see IDE secondary master optical drive empty you're gonna to wanna to right click that and choose disk image and you're gonna to wanna to find your Ubuntu image that you downloaded click it hit open upon that you should be done you go back up to the big green start button and click it. This should load up this new Ubuntu operating system. And as you can see, we got the little loading screen here where it's starting up. It's a good design, mean things are working. Probably gonna run into a little weird, weird words that come up here. A little bit of errors maybe. It all depends, but you should still be able to get past that. So, you know, failed to send host log messages, message whatever it's going to continue and then we'll be able to get in to choose to either install or try so you can choose which one you want to do i'm going to go ahead with just with try just because it's nearly the same thing you know but if you want to install a virtual machine with ubuntu on it just go ahead with the install option and uh here we go 
and here's that option so you can choose to install it or you can choose to try it like I said I'm just gonna go with try just for the sake of the video I'm not really keeping this I just want to show you guys how to set this up because it can be a bit difficult and overwhelming at first when you're treading in virtual machine territory so we should just get right into the desktop here in a moment and um, yeah with VirtualBox you got all types of options you can choose from a slew of operating systems but a lot of times you need these images so here we are we're at the desktop now and uh, here's the little desktop icon if you choose to install it and you can do as you please on here which is pretty cool I always really liked Ubuntu as a matter of fact I might, might even make a video on it in, on itself it's just a really cool operating system so that's how you get into that and you're from there you're on your own so with all that said that's how to set up a virtual machine and you should be up and ready and good to go if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments um, let me know what you think of the video that I cover everything if you had any issues again let me know I'll try to help you out as best as I can um, and also since the start of this channel it's only been about a week We've hit 20 subscribers, over 300 uh, views on all the videos, um, over eight and a half hours of total watch time. You guys are killing it, and I really appreciate it. I didn't expect to move this fast, this soon, and um, I just hope these videos are good and you're learning something. Today's video was a suggestion by two other people. Virtu uh, setting up virtual machines seems to be a pretty common uh, request, and I saw on the YouTube search results most of the videos were over a year old and just frankly outdated so I figured it's a great opportunity to put something new and fresh out there and I hope this uh, helps you and be sure to like the video and subscribe let's keep it going let's keep the momentum going I really appreciate all you've guys done so far and like I said any questions comments any help you need go ahead and uh, drop it in the comments I'm here and I'm always watching I'm always paying attention so thank you very much for checking out this video and I hope you have a great day and uh, there'll be another one on the way tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day just no weekends if you remember the beginning weekends are not a thing just five days a week I'll upload a brand new video have a good day